everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I took a little bit of a break after Vlogus and it was so, so nice, but now I'm ready to get back in and film some videos. And I'm super excited to be showing you my new stroller, which is what my video is gonna be about today. This is the Urbini Reversi stroller in the special edition or Heather Gray color. And I got this from Walmart. I am so in love with this stroller. I wasn't actually sure that I was gonna make a video about it because I was actually planning to do an unboxing video. And then I just decided, you know, I'd rather wait and make a video on it if I actually really enjoy it. So that's what I did, and I am honestly so in love with it. So I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I like about the stroller. I wanted to do like a demo to show you how it folds up, how small it is, things that I like about it, things that I don't like about it. And then I also thought I would show a little bit of a size comparison of this stroller along with a couple of my other umbrella strollers and then a couple of my other like larger strollers. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing a little more about the Urbini Reversi stroller from Walmart, then please keep watching. So first I thought I would show kind of like a size comparison. I filmed some clips outside right before doing this. So basically I showed it alongside a smaller umbrella stroller, alongside a tiny, tiny umbrella stroller, like probably the smallest stroller you can find. I also showed it alongside the Graco Connect lightweight stroller. It's a couple years old, but I think they have another one that's comparable. It's kind of like their compact light stroller. It's probably most comparable in size to that one. And then I also have a Graco, I think it's like Metropolis all-terrain stroller. So as you will see, it kind of is in like middle of the road as far as size of all of my strollers, but it's definitely like very narrow, which is the best thing for me that I was looking for as far as being able to get through doorways. So that is kind of the size comparison. And then I will show you guys how this bad boy works and some of my favorite things about it and some of the things that I do not like about it. Okay, one of the things that I love, the very generous canopy. This piece is like the front panel and it actually can fold all the way back in and then you can't even tell that it's there. But if you fold it out, you get amazing coverage so you don't have to worry about baby getting too much sun. It also has a little peekaboo window there, if you can see that. It is fixed here at the back, so you can't push this forward at all. It resists there, but honestly, because of that extra feature up here, I don't know why you'd ever want to pull this all the way forward, and I like that you get, obviously, all of that coverage in the back. It does have a five-point harness, and then it has three height settings for the top shoulder strap. I really like the way that these click together, so they kind of like connect to each other and then it'll stay like that and then it connects to the like crotch piece there. I actually really really like the basket. One of the things that people complained about when I read some reviews was that that top bar prevents being able to get into the basket very easily and I actually kind of like it because it almost creates like a little shelf here to put some items and then you have your basket and even though you can't access it from there it does have a little zipper here I was actually able to fit my Lily Jade Shaley in here and a sweatshirt and a bunch of other stuff. So it's actually a very spacious basket and I really, really like it. The wheels in the front do have the option of clicking to be in a fixed straight position. I would never do that because I really like to be able to have like the zero turning. Something I do not like about this stroller is the cup holder. It is so lousy. In fact, the first day we used this, my cousin had a drink on it and the whole thing spilled because this thing just came right off. It says it has a one pound capacity, but honestly, like it's kind of flimsy and even though it's clicked in there correctly, I would never put anything in here besides like a really lightweight drink that has a cap on it. What I have been using is this little parent console that I got off of Amazon. It has two cup holders, a little zipper pocket, and then a compartment in the middle. And this works really well on this, so this is what I've been using. I will link this down below if I can find it. The only other thing that I don't love about it is that I found that it does not go backwards all that easily, which is not a big deal. Every once in a while when you have to pull your stroller backwards like through a doorway or something, I notice it doesn't glide nearly as nicely as it does going forward. One of the things I love about the stroller is that it has the brakes here, and they're super easy to use. Like Even with bare feet, it's not a big deal to click them up or click them down. And then one of the coolest features, obviously, being that it is a reversible stroller, is that if you pinch these sides in here, you can lift the whole seat out and then have it rear facing. Once those click into place, you now have a rear facing stroller and it's super easy to recline. There are three reclining positions that you can access by pinching this handle here and then you can go down one, and that's the position it's in, or down 
pretty much the entire way. And there is a very like comfortable napping position for baby. The only bummer with this stroller is that it will not fold if it is in the rear facing position. So you do have to turn the seat forward in order for it to fold and collapse. Before I do that, I'll just show this stroller did come with these adapter pieces that you can click into place here. And then you can anchor the Urbini, I think it's the Santi car seat right in here. I do not have that car seat, so I can't show it to you, but I do have those in there just in case I ever was to get it, I suppose. I'll put the seat back forward facing. There's a little bit of resistance when you go to pull the other side over, but it's not too bad. And I think the greatest thing about this stroller is the way that it folds. So there are two little spots here on each side of the handle. You pull each of them up and then you lift the red and it all starts to collapse in. You just keep pulling it down and it clicks into place. You don't have to do anything to lock it and then it'll actually stand up. And the only bad thing about it is if the front wheels aren't in the correct position, it won't. So you kind of have to rotate them around. But once you do so, it'll stand all on its own, which I think is so cool. And I honestly just love the fact that it clicks into place. I hated with my other strollers that there was like a latch that I always had to do and undo to lock it into the folding position. So the fact that this one locks on its own is fantastic. That's about as small as it gets. It's not the most smallest fold ever. It's not nearly as small as some of my other umbrella strollers, but for all of the features that it offers, I do not mind at all. So then unfolding is just as simple. You pull up on each of these two and then you push down on the red and you can pop it right back in. I love the canopy. I love the way it folds. I love that it can be reversed. My baby honestly loves it. And I actually really, really like the basket design because I almost feel like you get two storage spots. You get your bottom storage and then you can throw like sweatshirts on the top if you need to be able to grab those easily and just set them right on top of the bar. I think it's phenomenal. Highly suggest this stroller, and I will link it down below to where I found it. If you guys have any questions about the stroller, just let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.